In this lesson, we will learn how to insert ladders in our drawings. We use ladders mostly for drawing control circuits just like uh, PLC control circuits. A ladder is a combination of wires having same source. The power source can be AC or DC depending upon the circuits. In this way, power is equally supplied to all the equipments. The vertical wires you can see in this uh, ladder, these are called bus wires, while the horizontal wires, these are called connecting wires or rungs. We can draw ladders from just like three methods by moving either to wires, click on it, go to ladders and insert ladder, or either we can insert ladder from this option, uh, insert ladder, or either type in the command which is AE ladder so I want to hide this menu right now for better view of my drawing area before drawing the ladder first move to the and check the properties of uh, our drawing so this is our drawing and we want to check the drawing format in format referencing you can see that I have selected the reference number so check it set up this dialog box you can see there are multiple options and i have selected this one the numbers only mean i will get the numbers in my letters only so similarly i can also get numbers and ruling just like in this way the preview shows actually the exact picture of these options so first i want to use this one numbers only and I click ok now i want to insert a letter and see in this dialog box this is very important because in this sheet there are some properties of inserting ladder like width of the ladder rungs and spacing between the rungs length of the ladder the reference numbers phase and draw rungs the preview show that uh, width is actually the total distance of the rungs or the distance between the two bus length is actually the total length of the ladder the first reference is it will assign the value to the first rung. Mean my numbering will start from this rung. This is the first rung and it will assign the value 1. I can even give it uh, other names like alpha numeric value or numeric value. So it will increment my value to 1. Mean the second value will be 2 and 3 and so on. In draw rungs, you can see there are three options. If I select this one, no bus then my bus and rungs will not be inserted in my rung, in my ladder. While if I select this option, then only my rungs will not be shown. The buses will be inserted along the numbers. But if I want to select this option, then all the three options, then all the three will be inserted like the numbers, connecting wires and uh, these connecting bus. So I want to select all the options like the default options. I want to go through the default values and uh, click OK. Now it, uh, in the command window, you can see it asks me to specify the start position of first rank. So I want to specify the first position of my rank. You can see it assigned a value 1. So I'm moving my mouse downward. If I move my mouse upward, you can see it will not be in actual ladder format. So I can only draw ladder in this format as I have selected a vertical rank. Here I want to specify the last reference number. So click enter on my mouse. It inserted my ladder in this form. The number started from 1 and up to 11 but uh, move towards other option also let's see change the width it affect our ladder and uh, the spacing between the rungs uh, you can see the last value was 11 so it pick another value as 12 mean the other value because in this drawing it already assigned these 11 values we can even change this value ourselves like uh, if you want to start our second letter also from one then it will create problems in our circuit but we can draw these these type of uh, ladders and i want to skip this option is important i want to skip ladders one mean one rank will be inserted but the second rank will be kept in my drawing so click ok and see how it will draw my ladder now let's see you can see that every second value it skipped in my drawing in my ladder and uh, my numbering start from 12 13 14 15 16 